Chapter 225, The Hit List Ling Chen nodded once, then immediately left to deliver the message. Ling Tian had a grave expression as he looked at Ling Jian, Jian, who was the fourth target. An expression of not knowing whether to laugh or cry appeared on Ling Jian's face as he stuttered, cough. Actually, the fourth target is of nearly negligible strength, so he's used mainly as a backup. Because General Ling is heavily guarded, the assassins might not be able to execute their task. They decided that in the event they couldn't assassinate the general, then they would settle for someone else, then push the blame to another family to create chaos. However, because this person is too easily killed, the rewards are divided in half. Ling Tian opened his eyes wide in astonishment, finally bursting into crazed laughter, so. The fourth target, isn't it the Ling's young noble, which is me. Ling Jian let out a bout of laughter as well. That's right, the target is you, young noble. To think the young noble not only isn't important enough to be in the top three, but also, and also has the reward cut in half. Ling Tian replied a little grumpily. Is this young noble really not worth anything? He felt a little depressed in his heart. All of them were worth 10,000 tails of gold, but he alone was only worth 5,000. And the worst part was that he didn't even make it into the first three targets, but was just a backup plan. They were looking down on him too much. Ling Jian held on to his stomach as he laughed non-stop, gasping for breath. When he had first received this news, he had collapsed on the floor in laughter, together with the other Ling brothers. Upon hearing this again, he couldn't help but let out another bout of crazed laughter. Ling Yan cursed, followed by helplessly laughing as he said, This plan isn't bad. I just realized that I'm actually such an important figure. To think that my influence could actually be so huge, I should feel honored. Too honored. When the time comes, I want to see who is the person who has the honors to actually try to assassinate me. At this moment, Ling Chen walked in, and after hearing Ling Jian describe the situation to her, she also couldn't help but to double over in laughter, saying, This crown prince from Northern Wei is really too funny. Young noble, your life is actually only worth half of theirs, ha ha ha, this is going to kill me. Just from the perspective of their plan, this isn't funny for them. Ling Tian's face grew grave as he commented, while this plan sounds insane, if they actually succeed in killing Yu Man Tian and Yu Bing Yan, then all the major powers in Sky Bearing would be dragged into the muddied waters, unable to escape. As for my side, once something happens to my father, chaos will ensue in the entire Sky Bearing internal section. If they assassinate my father, then the troops will be like a group of dragons without a head, and it will lead to a mess. However, if they kill me, my father would also have no heart for the upcoming battle. If they manage to use the Yang family as scapegoats, then without Northern Wei's interference, Sky Bearing would immediately split up into numerous factions. At that time, with all the different factions embroiled in conflict, Northern Wei just has to swoop in from the side and it can completely swallow up Sky Bearing. What a sinister plan! Hearing Ling Tian break it out for them, Ling Jian couldn't help but be tongue-tied. While it is sinister and vicious, Ling Chen's face took on a pondering expression, this plan has a heavenly huge loophole. How could Wei Chengping have neglected it? If he were such a person, then how could he even talk about victory? Oh? Tell me more. Ling Tian's eyes hid a glimpse of happiness as he looked towards Ling Chen, encouraging her to voice her thoughts. The linchpin of this entire plan lies in the Yu family. The Northern Wei Crown Prince's schemes to assassinate Yu Man Tian as well as Yu Bing Yan, to incite the entire community into chaos. This is their strongest point, but also their weakest link, the central axis at which the whole plan revolves around. For such a huge plan, if even people like us can get the intelligence, then the Yu family who has a millennium of history and lives within Northern Wei itself would definitely have caught wind of it. The moment they receive news of the Northern Wei Crown Prince planning the assassination, even before the plan starts, 
the entire imperial family would have been razed to the ground. For the Yu family, this is nothing difficult. Thus, to leave such an obvious loophole, why is this so? Ling Chen frowned as she put out the facts. That's right, I'm also pondering this very same question. Ling Tian clapped his hands together as he stood up, since even a small organization like us can receive the intelligence, how could the Yu's not have received anything? And as such, how would Wei Chengping dare to proceed with such an insane plan on his own? There is probably only one reason, Ling Tian turned to face them with a glint in his eyes, Wei Chengping has a backer. And this backer has the power to go against the use. But such major powers are few and between, so who could it be? We have yet to get to the bottom of this. Could there be other factors at play here? Ling Jian furrowed his brows and replied, I think that the Yu family might be unaware of this news. After all, think of how much effort and resources we spent just to send someone into the Northern Wei Imperial Palace that year. In order for us to receive intelligence at a quicker pace, we unhesitatingly spent so many tales of silver just to pave his road to a higher position. As such, it could very well be possible that the Yu family doesn't have a spy inside and so is unaware. It's not that they might not be aware, but rather that they definitely know about this. Ling Yan refuted. Never look down on the Yu family. A heritage of a thousand years is not just some ordinary power that you see on the streets. The scenario where the Yu family has no clue about this can definitely be ruled out, so it is strange that Wei Qingping dared to go ahead with this plan, despite the possibility of bringing the wrath of the Yu family upon themselves. However, whether the Yu family is aware of this plan or not, we have to treat the Yu members here as though they have no idea regarding this. If we approach this the wrong way, the ways would have the advantage and it would result in a scene of chaos all the same. Hee <laughs> hee, no matter how huge the backer from Northern Wei is, or whether the Yu family is aware of this news or not, as long as young noble Yu are seated here at Sky Bearing, the assassination would be bound to fail. As for this point, I can guarantee it. Ling Jian spoke with utmost confidence. Assassinating young noble? Were they joking? Even if the family head from the Yu family came out, he might not even have the certainty to succeed. Hearing such haughty words from Ling Jian, Ling Tian couldn't help but frown, wanting to lecture him, but unexpectedly he saw Ling Chen nodding her head seriously as well. This left him completely dumbstruck. He didn't know whether to laugh or cry. These people were so confident in him that it bordered on zealotry. Wasn't this just blind faith? Honestly speaking, before he had met Yi King Chen, Ling Tian was also unbridled, looking down on all martial experts, but after that incident he realized that there would always be a heaven above the heavens, and a person above all people. While Yi King Chen had a higher cultivation than him, he was fully able to strike Yi King Chen dead. So what if there was a person with an even higher cultivation than Yi King Chen hiding in this world? Send my second command. Ling Tian stepped forward, order Ling Liu, to report all the news from the north area in detail, especially news about the Yu family at the fastest possible time. Ling Jian. I'll find a way to monitor the whereabouts of Yu Man Tian, and will keep you updated. The moment there are any changes, you have to prevent Yu Man Tian from being injured. This bloke has a good character, unless you are hard pressed to even save yourself, don't abandon him. Additionally, don't waste any minute we have of our time with Yu Man Tian, make sure the brat Ling Chi and the rest squeeze as much of their potential out as possible. Letting out a sigh, he continued, while Yu Man Tian doesn't need any protection, he has two weak points, he is too kind-hearted, and his moves are not vicious enough. Every battle for him is a spar, so the moment he faces an actual assassin he will easily fall for their traps. So long as they grasp these two points of Yu Man Tian, to kill him is as easy as flipping their palms. Thus we have to be cautious about this. Ling Jian added in. While he didn't know how his young noble was going to monitor Yu Man Tian's movements, he had absolute trust in his young noble's words. 
Nobody knew that Ling Tian was planning to make full use of Gu Zayan, since Yu Man Tian was staying in Smoky Thea Tower, it would be a piece of cake to allow her to observe Yu Man Tian. Right now, Ling Tian couldn't confirm that Yi Beif and his gang were the people sent from the Blood Slaughter Pavilion. If they were, then things would definitely get troublesome. Since Yi Beif was heavily wounded by Ling Tian, he would be out of action for the time being, but that was not a guaranteed case. Chenner, you will be in charge of Yu Bingyan. Ling Tian commanded. Ling Chen smiled and nodded in response. As for my father's side, he he he. Let those people blood slaughter pavilion try to hit that tough nail. We don't even need to worry. Ling Jian meaningfully smirked. One had to know that Ling Zhou was the general of a country's troops and that he spent his life roaming battlefields, hovering between life and death. As a result, how could his son Ling Tian not worry about him? After going through some arrangements with old Madam Ling, he had assigned many guards to create an impenetrable defense around Ling Zhou. The safety was such that even if Ling Zhou lost the war, he still had an 80% chance of leaving the battlefield alive. In terms of martial arts, even if those placed near Ling Zhou couldn't be compared to Ling Jian's first pavilion, they wouldn't be too far off. Chapter 226, Shock Young Noble, for you to be so anxious to raise our strength, do you have something big for us to do? Ling Jian asked. Ling Tian then responded with a smile. Whether or not there is something big for you guys to do will rely on how much all of your strength can improve. If you guys can't reach my goal, it won't make a difference to me to ask someone else to do it. Ling Jian, you should be aware that the first pavilion is not the only power in my hands. Ling Jian's body shook as his face turned red and he replied seriously, Rest assured young noble, we will definitely raise our strengths even if we have to place our lives on the line. We will not let you down. MMM, do you have any other important news? Ling Tian asked leisurely. Ling Jian thought for a moment before saying, nothing more. Ling Jian felt as though Princess Zhao Yu's attitude seemed strange and made him feel slightly uncomfortable in his heart. But after thinking about it, Ling Jian decided not to mention the matter. I do have a piece of news about the Ximen family. Ling Chen said, the Violent Wind Gang sent a message, saying that Ximen Bu Ryuo and Ximen King went to the Yang family last night. They only left the Yang family at about 11 p.m. Ling Tian nodded his head in acknowledgement. Seeing that there was nothing for him, Ling Jian was about to leave. The three of them then looked at the sky and realized that the day was about to break. Another full night had passed unknowingly. Before Ling Jian left, Ling Tian said solemnly, Ah Jian, if you are going to make another low-level mistake like this again, I will seriously doubt my judgment from back then. Ling Jian's body shook, and he knew that Ling Tian was extremely displeased about the matters today. After following Ling Tian for more than 10 years, this was the first time Ling Jian heard Ling Tian speak to him with such a tone. Ling Jian's body couldn't help but shudder. Ling Tian then turned around and revealed a smile, Ah Jian, because I have a family, you guys and Ling Chen, I cannot die. So, even if it is for you guys, I will never give up. Although you don't have as many burdens as I do, you will eventually have a family of your own. Furthermore, you have to answer to me and be responsible to your brothers. So, we no longer hold the fate of our lives in our own hands. If we choose to throw it away because of a moment of hot bloodedness, we will be no more than fools. Do you understand what I mean? While Ling Tian didn't say much, Ling Jian's body was full of perspiration. Yesterday, Ling Yan's shout was like cloud thunder on a clear day and it shook the whole sky bearing city. Following which, he easily killed the fourth young master of the Ximen family, Ximen Zhang. The height of his martial arts was unfathomable and his means were extremely cruel. The four from the Ximen family had died on the spot in a miserable manner. These two things spread across the city like wildfire. 
In just a short while, all the various powers that were staying in Smoky Thea Tower knew who that Roar belonged to. After they found out who the Roar belonged to, all of their faces changed in shock. Obviously, no one could have imagined the silk pants Ling Tian be a martial arts expert. In that instant, every one of them had the same thought, for the number one silk pants in sky bearing to be a disguise, just what did this mean? Many of them then thought about how the number one fortune teller from beyond heavens, Yi King Chen, appeared in the Ling family and came into conflict with the Yang family. After which, they all came to the same conclusion, Ling Tian must definitely be a secret successor of Beyond Heavens. If he was really a successor of Beyond Heavens, then his usual silk pants appearance would be completely explained. Apart from the fact that every successor of Beyond Heavens had exceptional martial arts and were talented geniuses, the biggest trait was the fact that they would never interfere in worldly affairs. As the only offspring in the third generation of the Ling family, it was impossible for him to abstain from worldly affairs. The only choice would be for him to act like a silk pants in front of everyone. After the Ximen family found out about this, they stopped all their disciples from seeking revenge with Ling Tian. While Beyond Heavens didn't interfere in the worldly struggle for power, they were not afraid of any provocations. If you want to seek death, I will definitely satisfy your wish. Even the Ximen family would not want to provoke such an enemy. On one hand, they sent news back to the family to ask about what they should do next. On the other hand, they found the Yang family and indicated their intentions to form an alliance. No matter what, it was impossible for the Ximen and Ling family to work together after Ling Tian killed Ximen Zhang. Since it was impossible for them to work together, it was necessary for the Ximen family to form an alliance with another party that would never work together with the Ling family, the Yang family. Third Master Yu was currently enraged. While he was extremely straightforward, he was definitely not a fool. After receiving this piece of news, he immediately realized that Ling Jian's young noble was definitely Ling Tian, and also the person who beat him up previously. Originally, Yu Man Tian wanted to find the hateful brat for revenge immediately. With the complex situation in Sky Bearing, it was no surprise for the Ling family to be the target of many parties. To think that this brat actually wanted to compete with me in all the scholarly arts. How is this any different from mocking me? Thinking about that, Yu Man Tian almost wanted to bang his head from the embarrassment. However, he had made a wager with Ling Jian. If he couldn't defeat the combined strength of the few brats, he couldn't find trouble with Ling Tian. In just a short while, the frustrated third master Yu had paced a few hundred rounds in the room. He was like a frustrated dragon trapped in a cage. As for Zhu Ling and Zhu Fu, they sent the news back to their family head, Yu Man Lu, at the fastest possible time. Regardless of how large or small the matter was, they reported it back to Yu Man Lu, emphasizing on Yu Bing Yan and Yu Man Tian's interactions with Ling Tian. They then waited for a reply. After knowing about Ling Tian's martial arts level, the both of them were now at complete ease with regards to Yu Bing Yan's safety in the Ling residence. If their little princess were to meet with a mishap under Ling Tian's protection, the both of them would probably be useless as well. As for the Bei Ming and Dong Feng family, they were unexpectedly silent. The Bei Ming family, which originally had close ties to the Yang family, acted extremely abnormally. They stopped their disciples from leaving the family and began to conceal their strength in such a critical period. As for the Nan Gong family, they never expected Ling Tian to reveal his strength at such a moment and in such a domineering manner. After deep consideration, Nan Gong Tian Long was certain that Ling Tian's move was an ingenious one. While it wasn't an extremely rare piece of news for the Nan Gong family to be aware of Ling Tian's exceptional martial arts, it was still an important one. For Ling Tian to publicize his strength to the world, that was also akin to pressuring the Nan Gong family to agree to his conditions. After a series of discussions, their family decided that they had no choice but to go through with the alliance. 
However, they were now both afraid and excited at the same time. For Ling Tian to display his strength publicly, one of the great family would definitely be the sacrificial lamb for Ling Tian to display his might. The Nangong family definitely hoped that they were not the sacrificial lamb. For them to speed up the alliance with the Ling family, it might even be a good thing for them. After all, the men sacrificed today may give them a powerful ally in future. The Beiming family must have probably considered such a point as well, thus choosing to conceal their strength in such a moment. Facing an enraged dragon which had just woken up from its slumber, and furthermore being on its territory, it would be extremely foolish for them to be reckless in their actions. Nobody could have predicted that the various plans that all the different families had would have been messed up by the sudden appearance of an unexpected person. All of these were unknowingly created by Ling Tian's actions. This was just like the saying, planting a seed with effort but it does not sprout, planting a willow casually and a shade was formed. In the afternoon, Ling Tian was seated below his rack of grapes leisurely with Yu Bing Yan in front of him. A table was in front of her as she painted the lush green scenery around her. Ling Chen stood beside Yu Bing Yan, occasionally chatting with her and breaking out into giggles. These two lasses obviously had an extremely close relationship. Yu Bing Yan held on to her brush as she looked at the leaves on the rack of grapes with focus. Occasionally, she would then lower her head to paint a few strokes. Sometimes, she would bite onto the end of her brush with a frown as though deep in thought. Looking at Yu Bing Yan's focused appearance, Ling Tian frowned as he watched her. Finally, he couldn't take it any longer and stood up, Yanner, the biggest taboo of painting is hesitation. How can a famous painter be like you, painting a stroke once every few minutes? If that's the case, you will never be able to form a complete painting in your life. If you don't have the perception of bamboos in your mind, how will you be able to paint the bamboos? Do you really think that having the perception of bamboos is something ordinary? Having the perception of bamboos? A complete painting? Yu Bing Yan blinked her eyes, what is a complete painting? What does it mean to have the perception of bamboos? Chapter 227, Delivered to One's Doorstep I, if you don't have the scenery in your heart, then how could you paint out the scene? If an artist doesn't plan in advance, how would they be able to display their flair on paper? Yanner, you're blessed with superior intelligence, how could you make such an amateurish mistake? The definition of a perfect artwork. Ling Tian side once, refers to your artistic skills, intent, spirit, style and core melded into one, now that's perfect art. You have the skills and the outline of the intent, but you've only just been exposed to the artistic spirit, so at times your portrait is vibrant and at times lacking in spirit. The definition of spirit is essentially the character within an artwork. For a beautiful piece of work, just the concept is not enough, one has to inject it with character, then would it be the meat on the skeleton. As for style, it emphasizes on uniformity, one should always use the same style in drawing all things. A master painter can tell that the author of the artwork is an amateur if the artist's style is disordered and messy. Lastly, the core of the painting has to have some form of realism within, for example a drawn flower would be able to attract bees and butterflies, and if a youthful lady was drawn, it has to be able to ignite the hidden desires of a ma. Cough cough. In any case, that's about it. At the last sentence, Ling Tian nearly choked himself to death on his words, what nonsense was he spouting? While it might have seemed normal in the 21st century, it was greatly inappropriate for this age. This was especially so for the last sentence. Indeed, the two ladies let out protests while having reddened faces, but surprisingly Yu Bing Yin didn't come forth with fists ready to pummel Ling Tian, instead remaining in deep thought and muttering, how do I reach this state? Ling Tian secretly laughed to himself as he spoke, that stage is the extremity of painting, with your current stage now, you could only be considered to have just stepped past the threshold of artistic spirit. To reach the pinnacle, hi. It's easier said than done. 
Looking at the downcast look on Bing Yan's face, Ling Tian softened his tone a little, however, there's still a way. As long as this master is here, haha, this isn't a big problem. Didn't you notice that Chen'er has already improved by leaps and bounds? This is all because of my teachings. While Ling Tian's preaching at the beginning were half-truths, he had done so because he wanted to pay the road for Yu Bing Yin to begin fusing the Tao of Art together with the Tao of the Martial Way. From Zhu Ling, Ling Tian had learned that not only was Yu Bing Yan afflicted with an incurable disease, she was also the representative for the 60-year battle with the Shui family, so he had come up with this plan. In truth, he didn't have much confidence, so in order not to cause too much disappointment to Yu Bing Yan, he could only use this roundabout method to spur her on. Based on her current condition, if Yu Bing Yan didn't take a novel approach and forge a new path on her own, then she would definitely lose and die in the battle three years from now. This was something Ling Tian couldn't accept. Furthermore, because this matter involved the honor of both aristocratic families, and they didn't accept substitutes, Ling Tian couldn't come up with any better idea except this. Yu Bing Yan suddenly jolted up and hugged Ling Tian's arm, pouting while shaking it, no wonder why Sister Chen's paintings always look so good, it turns out that she is already near the peak. Brother Tian, you have to quickly teach me, I want to reach this stage too. Ling Tian put on a stern face as he replied, Yanner, it's not that I don't want to teach you, but rather that this path is thorny and difficult to walk. Chen'er spent 10 years before she could achieve her current accomplishments, and I don't want you to go through the same thing. Yu Bing Yan gently bit her lower lip as she resolutely replied, I'll definitely succeed. If I don't, then I. I, she couldn't finish her sentence even after a long time, her little face dyed completely crimson. If you fail, then you will have to be young noble's woman, if you succeed, then you get young noble as your husband. Ling Chen burst into laughter as she jested. Sister Ling Chen, you're bullying me. Yu Bing Yan couldn't restrain her embarrassment, throwing herself towards Ling Chen. Only after tussling for a while did they stop, sweating profusely. With a hairpin skewed and eyes dazed with exhaustion, the two were a beautiful sight to behold. Quickly explain your idea. I want to hear how difficult it is. Yu Bing Yan urged at this point. Ling Tian hid his smile as he glanced at her. He decided to throw another leash towards her, such that he could completely be in control of her, saying, what happens if you end up crying and throwing a tantrum and asking to quit when it gets too difficult? I think you better not, or else even Chen'er would laugh at you. Yu Bing Yan flared up and stubbornly said, Brother Tian, you look down on me too much. I'm from the Yu family and nobody in the family gives up halfway. Good. Ling Tian stood up. From today you shall begin the first phase. Every morning, you have to produce three paintings with a certain character and pass Jenner's or my evaluation. If you fail then you have to redraw. In the afternoon, you'll cover your eyes with a piece of black cloth and redraw the three paintings. Only when I deem you fit to have passed the first level can you then go on to the second level. Yu Bing Yan couldn't help but take in a breath of cold air, three paintings with character. Redraw if I fail? Cover my eyes and draw? Are you planning to read my life? How is this possible for a human? Scared? Ling Tian replied in a considerate tone. If you're scared then you can forget it. That time, Chen'er also did the same thing, and even did it perfectly. Who's scared of whom? Since Sister Ling Chen can do it, so can I. Yu Bing Yan glared at Ling Tian. Good. Since you're not afraid, then Ling Chen will be your superior from today onwards. If you can't complete your task for the day, then Ling Chen will tell you what your punishment is. Ling Tian put an end to the topic. As such, he could use this chance to develop a strong foundation in painting for Yu Bing Yan, then use this to develop a martial skill. With Ling Chen by her side to guide and protect her, it was killing two birds with one stone. The two ladies immediately agreed, looking at each other and smiling. Ling Chen, of course, 
understood Ling Tian's intentions in letting her do this, so her smile appeared weird. Ling Tian shot her a glare before coughing twice to hide it. Realizing that his objective had been met and that he had nothing else to do, he sat back down, before suddenly springing up as he remembered something. Turning to Yu Bing Yan he said, Yanner, now that you're considered at the threshold, remember this. Whatever you draw in the morning should be with your heart and those in the afternoon, with intent. When you have reached the stage of having the heart but not the intention, that is when your Tao has reached the small success stage. These words on heart and intent are similar to the martial arts books, so you can slowly sift them out and learn. There are myriad beings and Daos in the world, with countless paths for everyone to walk, but all roads eventually lead to the same end. Remember this. Yu Bing Yan was long aware that Ling Tian was a hidden expert of the martial way and definitely wouldn't take his words as mere gibberish. She only mumbled to herself, having the heart but not the intent? She seemed to have been thrown into deep contemplation. A pretty maid walked over at this point, young noble, madam, requests your presence in the hall. Ling Tian straightened himself, asking, what is it regarding? The Nangong family head. Nan Gong Tianlong has already arrived, asking specifically to see you. The maid timidly replied. Oh, was all Ling Tian replied with before seating himself back down. Nan Gong Tianlong specifically asked for me? Must I show him face now? What a joke. Just because he wants to see me, I've got to run over like a dog? Since when did the Nan Gong family have such a big face? The maid stared in shock. For someone of Nangong Tianlong's identity, secretly coming over to Sky Bearing, personally coming over to the Ling family, and requesting to see the young noble, how much of an honor was that? However, their young noble seemed to totally not reciprocate that kindness. Go and tell the Nangong family head that I'm waiting over here for him, and ask him to come over to find me. Ling Tian continued in a lazy tone. Since he's already delivered himself to my doorstep, haha, might as well go all the way. The maid hesitated a little, not moving, instead stammering, but the madam said. Ling Yan glared at her, go. Now. The madam of the Ling family, Chu Tinger, was even more confused over this whole situation. The head of the Nangong family, one of the eight great families, actually came over to visit them and was even courteous and polite to her. Luckily, her name as Goddess of Fortune put her above the rest of the ladies, and while having some small talk with this big shot, she constantly looked at the door, wondering why that brat wasn't here yet. While both of them were talking, they could tell that the other party was already showing signs of impatience, yet had no choice but to continue talking, making both of them equally depressed. His coming to Sky Bearing was supposed to be a secret, and coming over to visit Ling Tian was even more under wraps, so why did the Ling family not feel as though this was an important matter? To even have the maid Dali dallying along, how could the news of him stay under wraps? Before long, the maid sent to report the news came rushing over. Where's your young noble? Why is he not here? Seeing that she only came alone. Chu Tinger asked with a furious expression. The maid could only stammer, young noble said, young noble said. Sneaking a glance at her madam's expression, she didn't dare to continue. Chapter 228, Discerning Right from Wrong What did he say? Chu Tinger asked with a frown. Young noble said. He will be waiting in his courtyard and the Nangong family had can find him there. After finishing that sentence, her back was full of perspiration and her head lowered. Her young noble was just far too rude. That vile beast. Indeed, Chu Tinger flew into a rage, he actually dares to be so rude. I will go and... Wait. Nan Gong Tian Long stood up, ah, ah, don't be mad, madam. This old man was the one who is here to pay a visit to him and I should indeed go over to find him. I thank madam for informing him previously. Nan Gong Tian Long knew that Ling Tian was flaunting his prestige in front of him. While he was extremely depressed in his heart, 
the present situation was much more critical. Thus, he still had a friendly smile on his face. Ah! Ah ah ah! Family head Nangong is too polite. You are indeed magnanimous. Chu Tinger's face changed almost immediately, Chan Tao, what are you waiting for? Quickly lead the way for family head Nangong. Tell that darn brat that family head Nangong is the esteemed guest of our Ling residence and he mustn't mistreat family head Nangong. Seeing Nangong Tianlong walk out with the maid, Chu Tinger let out a sigh of relief. Her face then broke out into a smile as she muttered, You little BSD road, just see if I take care of you in the future. HMPH, you actually dared to keep me in the dark for so long. However, he is still much better than that wooden block father of his. This is what my son should be like. She then returned to her room with satisfaction. Ling Tian had an amiable smile on his face with his slightly rosy cheeks and suave appearance. He looked completely harmless with a harmonious smile in his eyes. He then calmly sat there as he sized up the family head of one of the eight great families, Nan Gong Yan Long. Nan Gong Tian Long had a squarish face, with a large nose and mouth and a face with a full beard. However, his eyes were brimming with energy with along with a well-built and burly body. On the surface, he looked exactly like Yu Man Tian a straightforward and brash man who didn't know how to scheme. However, his calm like river eyes and profound gaze told Ling Tian that he would be a complete fool to treat Nan Gong Tian Lung like a brash individual. While Ling Tian was sizing Nan Gong Tian Lung up, Nan Gong Tian Lung was also doing the same. Was this frail-looking teen who looked like he would shy away from a conversation the number one silk pants in sky bearing? Was this the young noble of the Ling family who recently revealed his frightening might and cruel means? Just how many other unknown sides does this teen have? You really cannot judge a book by its cover. They both let out a sigh in their hearts. It must be tough for family head Nan Gong to come from afar. How can I trouble family head Nan Gong to visit me personally? Quick, be seated. Ling Tian stood up warmly and gave up his seat. Chenner, serve some tea to let family head Nan Gong wash away his fatigue. In the room, Ling Chen acknowledged Ling Tian's words and walked out with a tea set. Family head is probably here for brother Nan Gong Le's affairs, right? Ling Tian took the initiative to start the conversation, letting out a long sigh as he continued with a solemn tone, while Ling Tian didn't have much interaction with brother Nan Gong Le, I greatly admired that straightforward manly vibe of his. For brother Nan Gongla to come to Sky Bearing, I originally wanted to build a good relationship with him. Who would have imagined that the nightmare would befall so suddenly, and my brother was actually so brutally killed. For such a talent to fall, it is really the tragedy of the century. It really makes me extremely sad to hear about that. Ling Tian should be the one to visit you but I never expected family head to place such great importance on me and pay a personal visit. Ling Tian is really overwhelmed by the favor you show me. Ling Tian's words were obviously no different from nonsense. For Nan Gongla to have a straightforward manly vibe, he probably only displayed that in the brothel. As for when Ling Tian said for a talent to fall, it is really the tragedy of the century. It was no different from complete nonsense. Nan Gongla couldn't even be compared to a coward, so how could he be considered a hero? However, the effect of these words was still rather obvious, quickly closing the gap between the two. Especially after hearing someone mention the death of his son, Nan Gong Tianlong revealed a painful expression, That's right, Ler's death must be avenged. Our Nan Gong family will never coexist with the Yang family. Ling Tian responded with an O before asking, From what I have heard, the culprit who murdered brother Nan Gong Le had not been found up till today. How does family head Nan Gong know that the Yang family was the culprit? Doesn't family head suspect that there is another party who is intentionally sowing discord between the two families to prevent your merger? Young Noble Ling is an intelligent man. Why do you have to test me like that? Nan Gong Tian Long let out a bitter laughter, 
After this incident, the Yang family tried various means to cover it up and mystify the whole incident. But no matter what, they were unable to conceal the fact that the Yang family was the culprit of that incident. Oh? Ling Tian was truly puzzled. In truth, he also didn't know why Nan Gong Tian Long was so certain that the Yang family was the culprit. Was it just because of the statement from the guards? It can't be possible, right? How can a wily old fox like Nan Gong Tian Long be duped so easily? This old man didn't believe that this was that old man Ying's plan, Nan Gong Tian Long then said hatefully, but he made one simple mistake. He shouldn't have tried to pull the Ling family into the whole affair. Only after he tried to pull in the Ling family was I certain that Yang Kong Kun was the one who killed my son. He tried to cover up too badly and revealed flaws on his own. What do you mean by that? Ling Tian's doubt was no longer faked. He was completely confused by everything Nan Gong Tian Long said. Just how did this old brat make such a judgment? While this young noble is usually extremely witty, I am getting more and more confused. Young noble's Ling family has been fighting the Yang family for over 10 years and it wouldn't be too much to call both of your family's mortal enemies, right? Nan Gong Tian Long said while sipping his tea. Ah, uh, I don't dare to call us mortal enemies. However, both our families serve the same imperial family and it is inevitable for us to have some conflicts. Ling Tian said calmly. Young noble's martial arts is at an extremely high level and your wisdom far exceeds your peers. While you have been facing the world with a different appearance, Nan Gong Tian Long paused for a moment before continuing calmly, it is completely acceptable for me to be unaware about your talents being thousands of miles away. However, this old man will never believe that Yang Kong Kun was completely unaware of this even after fighting your family for more than 10 years. Let me ask you a question, if the Nan Gong and Ling family were to both be greatly injured from fighting each other, who would stand to gain the most from that? It would definitely be the Yang family. Oh, Ling Tian let out a long breath and finally understood the matter. So that was the case. He couldn't help but let out a smile as he added oil to the fire, that's right, this young noble has fought with the Yang family many times before and I have never been on the losing end. While this young noble is never willing to be unduly humble, if you were to say that family head Yang is unaware of my abilities with his wisdom, not to mention family head Nan Gong, even I won't be able to believe that. Nan Gong Tian Long slapped his thighs in agreement, that's right. Yang Kong Kun obviously knew that you were the disciple of Beyond Heavens and had to conceal your talents because of the rules of your sect. However, he still chose to push the blame for Lair's death to the Ling family. He obviously wants my Nan Gong family to fight against your Ling family and Beyond Heavens. He obviously wants to push my Nan Gong family into complete destruction. Who wouldn't be able to see through the devious plans of his? To think that Yang Kong Kun still thought that his plan would succeed. Nan Gong Tian Long said with disdain. Cough 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 Ling Tian was drinking a mouth of his tea and couldn't help but choke on it. Disciple of Beyond Heavens? Just where did that come from? Nan Gong Tian Long was certain that his conjectures were all extremely logical without any flaws to be picked at. He was certain that he had revealed all of Yang Kong Kun's devious plans. However, Nan Gong Tian Long didn't know that the Yang family was completely unaware of Ling Tian's strength before this. As for Yi King Chen, who represented Beyond Heavens, he only arrived at the Ling family after Nan Gong Le's death. It was only due to Yang Kong Kun's bad luck that he offended Yi King Chen. As for Ling Tian being the disciple of Beyond Heavens, that was completely Nan Gong Yan Long's imagination. In the whole continent, other than beyond heavens, who would be able to nurture someone like Ling Tian? Despite his young age, he was almost at the peak of martial arts. Thus, Nan Gong Tian Long was not the only one with such thoughts. Many of the other powers also made such guesses. Even if Ling Yan were to openly announce that he wasn't the disciple of beyond heavens, no one would believe him for sure. 
when the Nangong family came into sky bearing, they were completely overbearing in their actions and looked like their enmity with the Yang family was completely irreconcilable. They didn't even give Yang Kongkun a chance to give an explanation. Following that, all the other incidents happened one after another and Yu Man Tian also coincidentally mixed into the mess. Through the many coincidences, the crime of Nan Gongla's death was completely pinned on to the Yang family. Even if Ling Yan were to announce that he was the one to kill Nan Gongla, none of the powers would believe him for sure. That's right, Ling Tian said with a sigh, if not for family head Nan Gong being far-sighted and wise, Ling Tian would definitely end up being a scapegoat. Ling Tian shook his head with a mellow sigh. The innocent will remain innocent, Nan Gong Tian Long said righteously, even if things weren't so obvious, my Nan Gong family surely wouldn't have maligned an innocent party. Chapter 229, Terms of Alliance That's right, the Nan Gong family is a famous family from the southeast region and all who come out from there will definitely live up to their fame. Ling Yan almost burst out laughing and he raised his teacup to Nan Gong Yang Long, Chenner, bring the best wine in my room over. My mood is good today and this young noble will have a good drink with family head Nan Gong. Young noble Ling is too polite, after Nan Gong Tian Long declined Ling Tian modestly, he remembered the reason he came here today, Hayes, I am really ashamed. This old man is here to seek forgiveness from young noble Ling. Oh? Ling Tian's eyes lit up but his tone was still indifferent, what kind of a crime did family head Nan Gong commit? Besides, I am still young and belong to the younger generation. How can I accept such words from family head Nan Gong? Nan Gong Tian Long's face contorted in misery, let us not beat around the bush any further. For the past few years, our Nan Gong family was foolish and listened to that old BSD road Yang Kong. To think that we actually had covetous thoughts and violated your Ling family. I hope that young noble Ling will forgive us. As he said that, Nan Gong Tian Long took out a small notebook and placed it on the table. The moment they met, Nan Gong Tian Long was already certain that Ling Tian wasn't someone easy to deal with. Before he even had a chance to open his mouth, Ling Tian had already led the conversation in a large roundabout fashion. With regards to the alliance between both their families and Ling Tian's conditions, Nan Gong Tian Long was certain that Ling Tian would definitely lead the conversation in circles if he didn't mention it himself. While Ling Tian was in no hurry at all, his own Nan Gong family couldn't wait any longer. Because of this, Nan Gong Tian Long decided to be resolute and took the initiative to offer the notebook of names. While he didn't seem to care much on the surface, he was already trembling under his robes. These people were elites that the Nan Gong family had spent a large amount of effort to train. Once he handed them over, his Nan Gong family would no longer be able to spy on the Ling family's strength. Furthermore, their information net in sky bearing would also be completely dissolved. From today on, the Nan Gong family would be blind in sky bearing without any source of information. The losses and damage suffered by the Nan Gong family couldn't even be estimated. However, if they could form an alliance with the Ling family, those losses could still be accepted. With an expressionless face, Ling Tian took the notebook in his hands and casually flipped through it before throwing it to the side. It was as though Ling Tian felt that the notebook was completely useless. Nan Gong Tian Long's eyes narrowed as he thought, this brat is really difficult to deal with. Family head Nan Gong, Ling Tian's appearance turned solemn, since we are now open with each other, let us not mix personal and business matters. However, we do have to be clear about some things. I believe family head Nan Gong also knows that in the current situation, the Yang family surely wouldn't dare to touch my Ling family no matter how bold he is. So, my Ling family can be said to be without any worries and we definitely have the ability to watch the war from the sidelines. I wonder if family head Nan Gong has anything to say about that? Nan Gong Tian Long let out a long sigh and said with a tinge of sadness, 
That's right. While the Ling family does have some troubles, they aren't anything difficult to take care of. With young noble's wisdom, they definitely won't be a problem. This old man is still extremely clear about that. Ling Tian nodded his head with praise and said, With your Nangong family's eagerness to seek revenge, it will only be akin to me finding trouble for myself if both our families were to form an alliance. Ling Tian said with a sigh, I wonder what we should do? Nangong Tianlong's face sunk as he said, If the Ling family can lend my Nangong family a helping hand, we will definitely give our thanks. Furthermore, the alliance is also extremely beneficial to young noble. If we can cause irreparable damage to the Yang family, Sky Bearing will belong to your Ling family. Furthermore, your Ling family has close ties to the Imperial family and even if the young noble. Ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, it may not be impossible. Ling Tian smiled and shook his head, family head Nan Gong is wrong. To be honest, the present Yang family isn't anything to be feared by me. If not for the fact that I cannot personally. Besides that, it is definitely a taboo for my Ling family to help your Nan Gong family to deal with the Yang family. The Imperial family would definitely grow wary of us, and the consequences of that would definitely be great. Nan Gong Tianlong hurriedly replied, However, I believe that the consequences will be negligible as compared to the benefits you stand to gain. That's right. Benefits. Ling Tian leaned on his bamboo chair and raised his finger, at the end of the day, everything is because of this single word, benefits. All the so-called alliances are just formed on this single word. In other words, if you want me to help your Nan Gong family deal with the Yang family, that's fine. Let me see what kind of benefits I stand to gain. Of course, if the benefits aren't appropriate or suitable, then the alliance. Ah, uh, we don't have to talk about that any further. This old man had already satisfied the condition that young noble mentioned previously. Nan Gong Tianlong felt his heart itch with hatred. That wasn't a condition. Ling Tian interrupted him and tapped on the notebook lightly, this name list only shows your sincerity to cooperate. I only said that I would consider the matter if I have the name list. Ling Tian paused for a moment before saying, Chenner, let family head Nan Gong see the name list we have prepared. Ling Chen acknowledged Ling Tian's orders and placed a name list in front of Nan Gong Tianlong. Ling Tian then smiled, Nan Gong Tianlong can verify the details of both these name lists to see if we have maligned the innocent. I think that my judgment won't be too far off. Nan Gong Tianlong looked at Ling Tian with a doubtful gaze and picked up both the name lists. The moment he began to flip through the name list, his face changed completely. There were 70 to 80 names on the name list that Nan Gong Tianlong brought. As for the one which Ling Tian showed him, there were over 200 names, a whole 150 more than what Nan Gong Tianlong brought. Furthermore, the names on Nan Gong Tianlong's list were almost all on Ling Tian's list. Even if Ling Tian missed a few, not more than 10 were missed. Young Noble is indeed amazing, Nan Gong Tianlong is amazed. Nan Gong Tianlong forced himself to remain composed, it's just that your name list is more than twice the length of mine. Ah, uh, uh, perhaps. Ling Tian sneered as an oppressive gaze shot out from his eyes. Family head Nan Gong, with both of our statuses and environment, it is a joke for you to say something like that. Ling Tian's face then turned ruthless, this is related to the survival of my Ling family, the life and death of over 10,000 people. There is no need to talk about soft-heartedness. In order to unroot all future problems, does family head Nan Gong think that Ling Tian really will be merciful? Do you really think that I won't kill the 100 plus innocent people? Ha ha ha. Nan Gong Tianlong's back was already wet from perspiration. What a ruthless individual. So, this name list is only capable of showing your sincerity and nothing more. To talk about benefits and conditions, it is still lacking. Ling Tian then took both name lists and passed them over to Ling Chen. If family head Nan Gong is planning to give me a fake name list, 
there isn't a need for us to continue negotiating. With this name list here, the both of us will still be able to continue talking harmoniously. At the very least, I will be willing to consider your Nangong family's sincerity. This is the true meaning of this name list. This is the sincerity of your Nangong family. As for the benefits of the alliance, ah, uh, you can't be thinking of letting my Ling family do all the hard work for nothing right? Nangong Tianlong let out a long sigh. He never imagined that this important name list of his Nangong family was only enough to exchange for the rights to negotiate. However, he still felt a lingering fear in his heart. To think that Ling Tian caught almost all of the spies. Young noble Ling, while you do not really care about this name list, this name list represents more than 10 years of hard work and effort of my Nangong family. All the names on the list are elites of my Nangong family. To my Nangong family, this is already a huge blow to us. For us to be willing to make such a sacrifice, our sincerity should be obvious. I think that I have already done enough. Nangong Tianlong tried to persuade Ling Tian, I never imagined that young noble will have other conditions. Does young noble really think that my Nangong family has fallen to the point where we are fishes on the chopping board? Even if young noble wants to exterminate us all, does young noble really think that you can suffer the losses? Will you be willing to suffer such losses? Please answer me. As he said that, Nangong Tianlong raised his head up and looked into Ling Tian's eyes with a fiery gaze. More than 10 years of effort and hard work, elites of the Nangong family? What has this got to do with my Ling family? The fact that they are the elites of the Nangong family makes the Nangong family all the more despicable. Ling Tian stood up and faced Nangong Tianlong's gaze without retreating. His voice also became stern, ah, uh, uh, Ling Tian has no doubt that these men are the elites of the Nangong family. However, who was the one who sent them onto this path of no return? They are all dead for sure. Who is the true culprit? If not for your Nangong family's intentions to swallow up my Ling family, would there be such a situation today? There are a cause and effect for everything in the world. While this may be a great loss to your Nangong family, it is no more than you suffering from your own deeds done to my Ling family. How can you blame others for your earlier actions? Are you trying to use your family's mistake as a negotiating chip? Ha ha! Ling Tian let out a loud laugh, what a joke! Chapter 230, Lust As for what family head Nan Gong said about the state of your Nan Gong family, I believe family head Nan Gong is clear about that in your heart. This young noble is about 90% clear about your Nan Gong family's strength. Regardless of whether or not you will believe me, Ling Tian is extremely confident. However, Family head Nan Gong is not clear about my strength and the full strength of my Ling family. So how can you estimate if we will be able to accept the losses? Ah, uh, family head Nan Gong, we are now talking about the alliance which your Nan Gong family requires. An alliance is something that both parties must benefit from and have common goals. Furthermore, there must be a party to take the initiative. If the party taking the initiative isn't able to come up with any conditions to satisfy the other party, then such talks of an alliance are no more than empty words. Nan Gong Tianlong's eyes turned ferocious as he glared at Ling Tian hatefully for a moment before his gaze turned dim. A trace of anger could then be seen on his boorish face as he panted for a short while before finally calming down, I wonder what other conditions young noble wants? You may list them out. Ling Tian smiled, after this battle, all the assets of the Yang family in the Sky Bearing Empire will belong to my Ling family. As for their assets outside the empire, we will split it 60 to 40. I will take 60 and you 40. Your Nan Gong family will only have the rights to the money but no rights to interfere in the operations of those assets. What does family head Nan Gong think? You. Nan Gong Tianlong stood up and pointed at Ling Tian in rage. He was angered to the point he could not say anything for a long while as his body trembled. What do you think my Nan Gong family is? Ling Tian sneered, 
How can two people share a narrow bed? Does family head Nan Gong not understand my intentions? For your Nan Gong family wishing to enter Sky Bearing, there isn't any room for discussion at all. If Sky Bearing cannot belong to my Ling family after the Yang family perishes, what is the point for us to cooperate? While Ling Tian isn't smart, I will never accept a loss. If we only change the Yang family to your Nan Gong family, what does our Ling family stand to gain from that? Just so our Ling family can have a new opponent? Ha <laughs> ha! Nan Gong Tian Long let out a snort, everything in Sky Bearing will belong to your Ling family. This was originally within my plans and I do not have any opposition in regards to that. I would still be able to accept it if you were to take 60% of the other assets. However, why will my Nan Gong family be prohibited from interfering with their operations? Isn't this being too unreasonable? Does Yang Noble really want to treat my Nan Gong family as just a runner to do your errands? This condition of yours is too harsh and we will not accept it. Ling Tian's eyes glimmered, ah, ah, as the saying goes, ask for sky high prices and pay the price of the earth. Since family head Nan Gong isn't satisfied, what do you think we should do? At this moment, Ling Chen walked over with a flask of wine and a few dishes. Just as Ling Tian predicted, this last did indeed take out the strong wine that he had served to the Zhu brothers. Everyone around Ling Tian didn't have a good impression towards Nan Gong Yan Long. For him to covet the assets of the Ling family, he deserved to die. Why should he be served good wine? However, this low-grade wine in Ling Chen's eyes was still a one-of-a-kind fragrant wine to Nan Gong Yan Long. The fragrance of the wine seeped out and Nan Gong Tian Long swallowed hard. However, Nan Gong Tian Long was the head of the family after all. After gathering his concentration, he continued, If both of our families work together, the Yang family will perish for sure. Since both of our families are going to work together, the split of benefits must be fair as well. The Ling family has already managed to clean up your family's internal condition and has overtaken the Yang family to become the number one family in Sky Bearing. The benefits of your Ling family can be said to be enormous. However, Young Noble actually demanded 60% of the Yang family's assets outside of Sky Bearing. Furthermore, you still want to prevent my Nan Gong family from interfering with them. This is a little too much. Nan Gong Tian Long originally wanted to say that he should be the one with 60% with Ling Tian taking 40% but decided to swallow his words. If he were to really anger Ling Tian today, it would have been meaningless for him to hand over the name list and every Nan Gong family member in Sky Bearing would certainly perish. Such a loss was not something that their Nan Gong family could bear. This young noble had already said previously, Ask for sky high prices and pay the price of the earth. Since family head Nan Gong isn't satisfied, you can just state what you think. Seeing that Nan Gong Tian Long finished saying what he wanted, Ling Tian signaled to Ling Chen to pour him wine. All the assets outside sky bearing will be split equally amongst us. Half each. We will not interfere with each other's operations. Nan Gong Tian Long clenched his teeth and made a concession. There still isn't news? Ling Tian frowned and swept the wine glass that Nan Gong Tian Long had just used onto the floor. There isn't any news about Su Hui Ren and Little Chrysanthemum. Ling Chen looked at Ling Tian's expression with a tinge of nervousness, however, ever since the Northern Wei envoy, Meng Li Ji Yi, came to Sky Bearing, they haven't made any moves. They only shifted into the smoky Thea Tower yesterday. I heard that the Vice Envoy, Shi Yi Tan, and Meng Li Ji Yi are not on good terms. Shi Yi Tan seems to be making things difficult for Meng Li Ji Yi and there are even signs of Meng Li Ji Yi being confined. It is really puzzling. Shi Yi Tan? Ling Tian responded with a no. All of a sudden, he burst out into laughter as he spit out the wine in his mouth. This name of his really makes me completely speechless. Shi Yi Tan? A pile of dog sh tea? Wonder. My goodness, that's too disgusting. Ahaha. Ah, ah.
Ling Chen had never imagined that this vice envoy's name could actually have such a weird meaning. After hearing Ling Tian's explanation, her face turned red as she burst out into laughter as well, Young noble, I really don't know what goes on in your mind. Why do the names of others always end up different in your mouth? Ling Tian let out a laugh before frowning, if that's the case, Meng Liji's situation can be said to be precarious. Since Wei Qingping sent him to Sky Bearing, Wei Qingping would definitely have his intentions. Now that both the envoy and vice envoy are fighting, it is obvious. Chenner, let the violent twin gang take note of the Northern Wei's envoy. Make a report of all their actions ever since they arrive in the city and send it here. No matter what, Meng Liji is Mr. Kin's junior brother and he can be considered to be my senior uncle. Now that he is in my territory, I should still take care of him. Ling Chen nodded in response before saying with a smile, Young noble, I never imagined that Nangong Yan Long would actually agree to the harsh conditions which Young Noble gave. Young Noble really bullied the Nangong family this time. For Young Noble to bully a great family as such, while others may be able to do it again in future, I am sure that such a thing has never happened before. Chenner is in admiration. Ling Tian shook his head with a thoughtful look in his eyes, Nan Gong Tian Long is the head of the family indeed. He is indeed capable. While his purpose here may have been for revenge, it probably isn't the case anymore. The only reason why he agreed to my condition was that he wanted to pacify my Ling family. Why is this so? Does he still dare to enter Sky Bearing? Ling Chen could not understand. Could their fierce argument previously be Nan Gong Tian Long's plan to stall for time? That isn't it. They do indeed have the intention to retreat. In other words, family head Nan Gong is really afraid. The only reason why he is still in sky bearing now is definitely not to deal with the Yang family. It is just that he isn't resigned to leave sky bearing before the matters here come to an end. Furthermore, it is also because he isn't confident of leaving here safely. That is the reason for the negotiation today. This old fox wants to test my attitude. Thus, I will naturally have to be overbearing before finally setting his mind at ease. As for dealing with the Yang family, family head Nan Gong doesn't dare to risk it. He is afraid that if both their families were heavily injured, I would wipe out both of them and pick up the pieces. The Nan Gong family originally didn't understand our strength and would have thought differently. However, Nan Gong Tianlong has already decided to retreat after what happened yesterday. Oh, I see. Ling Chen nodded her head but was still confused, with regards to young noble revealing your strength yesterday, Chen Er is still puzzled about your intentions. Why would you expose yourself in front of all the heroes in the continent after concealing yourself for so many years? Won't this be too risky? Isn't it a waste for the many years of our planning to be? Ling Tian then let out a profound smile, Chenner, you do not need to be worried. I naturally have my own intentions. He then changed the topic and asked, is old madam at the attic or backyard? I have to find her to give her the name list. It is still best for grandmother to take personal action for something like this. Oid madam is in the hall, Ling Chen then snuck a gaze at Ling Tian, I heard that the emperor is here to see consort Ling Ran and old madam is there as host. I heard from sister Zhou He that the emperor will be paying a visit to young noble later. With Ling Chen's intelligence, how could she not understand what Long Xiong was visiting Ling Tian for? Ever since Long Xiong saw her previously, Ling Chen had already understood that the Emperor probably had some thoughts about her. However, Ling Chen wasn't afraid in the slightest. While she had the status of a maid, Ling Tian had taught her personally over the years. Not only did she have Ling Tian's inheritance of martial and scholarly arts, she was also greatly influenced by Ling Tian's character and she didn't really place this sky-bearing emperor in her sight. She was more afraid of the fact that Link Yan would be angry at her because of this, even if it wasn't her fault. Indeed, Link Tian's eyes narrowed as he said with a chilly tone, birds of a feather do indeed flock together. He and that dog Shti Empress of his are really a pair made in heaven. 
the both of them are really trying to seek death. He actually dares to have fancy designs about you even after I revealed my strength, and even dares to come knocking on my door. Hee <laughs> hee, lust really gives him courage. Chapter 231, Strolling in the Rain A short while later, Ling Tian turned back and said, Ignore him. Relay my question to those in charge of the Violent Wind Gang, do they need a full year to catch Su Huiren? Send my exact words out. Ling Chen stuck out her tongue, thinking about the pitiful reactions from those of the Violent Wind Gang when they heard Ling Tian's orders. However, she also couldn't help them and could only relay the message. The sky turned dark as the city was suddenly covered by thick clouds. At that moment, a light drizzle covered the city. Ling Tian then stood up and said with a smile, The drizzle is like silk, the drizzle is like a poem. How can we let down the heavens for giving us such beautiful scenery? Chenner, are you willing to accompany your husband to take a stroll in the rain? Young noble, you're not waiting for the emperor? Ling Chen asked. Ling Tian took a step forward and stepped right on the wine glass that Nan Gong Tian Long had just used. With a crisp shattering sound, the glass turned to smithereens. Then, Ling Tian turned around and said to Ling Chen with killing intent, The Emperor? Ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, why should I care? So what if I ignore him? HMPH, if he wasn't my aunt's husband, I would slaughter him today like an ant. Just who does he think he is, eyeing my lady? Hearing Ling Tian's anger, Ling Chen was extremely moved by Ling Yan's actions. Her face began to blush red as she let out an elated smile. She knew that Ling Tian was enraged because Long Xiang fancied her and couldn't help but feel a sense of sweetness and warmth in her heart. Just like how she was the most beloved lady in Ling Tian's heart, Ling Tian was the most beloved man in her heart. Looking at her beloved man, her eyes were filled with tenderness. The free-floating petals are light like a dream, the endless drizzle is thin like worries. Chenner, do you know? The thing I enjoy doing the most is to take a slow stroll in this light drizzle, especially with you by my side. Ling Tian then looked at the dark sky and dream-like drizzle slowly coming down. The light drizzle seemed to have covered the skies like a dense fog, creating a dream-like feeling. Whenever there is a light drizzle as such, I would feel as though the whole world would dissipate into nothingness, leaving me alone in this vast world hoping that there can be someone by my side. Ling Chen and Ling Tian took a slow stroll in the rain. Ling Tian then looked at the passers-by rushing around, and he was reminded of the same scene in his previous world. In that moment, Ling Tian suddenly felt a trace of fear in his heart. It was as though he was almost unable to distinguish his dreams from reality, as though his presence in this world was no more than a long dream. He felt as though he was still in that distant past and bleak future. However, what Ling Chen felt was a far cry from Ling Tian's desolation. Ling Chen was filled with gentleness and happiness. In the light drizzle, she held onto her lover's hand and took a slow stroll. Ling Chen felt as though everything around her, even the dark skies, gentle winds, endless rain, and the rushing passers-by were filled with a poetic intent. The free-floating petals are light like a dream, the endless drizzle is thin like worries. Ling Chen muttered these two lines with a thoughtful look on her face. The more she thought about it, the more she felt as though these two poetic lines were both dreamy and mystical but yet real and void. It was filled with the ethereal feeling of a dream, extremely fitting with the present weather. Young noble, these two lines are really wonderful. Did you come up with it yourself? At this moment, Ling Tian felt as though his soul was extracted from his body, melding into the gentle drizzle and drifting around in the rain. He felt as though he was looking down at the world with an indifferent attitude. Such a feeling was just indescribable. As he heard what Ling Chen asked him, he replied without thinking, yes. After answering her question, he felt as though he finally woke up from his dream and looked towards Ling Chen. He then saw her face full of happiness and the joy bubbling from her very soul, looking towards him emotionally with a pair of satisfied and blessed eyes. Facing Ling Tian's fiery gaze, she lowered her head with shyness. However, 
she suddenly lifted up her head courageously and met Ling Tian's gaze with a pair of burning eyes. Ling Tian let out a light sigh and grabbed Ling Chen's waist, pulling her into his embrace. From today on, there will only be a single Ling Tian in this world. Let the original Ling Tian and the Ling Tian from my previous world disappear with the rain. What a beautiful rain, like a poetry, like a painting, like a dream, and like an illusion. It makes one both drunk and sentimental. The most beautiful part is the accompaniment of my beautiful wife walking through life with me. In this lifetime, what more can I ask for? Quickly concealing all of his emotions, Ling Tian laughed and hugged Ling Chen, walking forward with a relaxed expression. Ling Chen let out an embarrassed smile and looked towards Ling Tian with her beautiful eyes. In her heart, she felt as though young noble seemed to have lost something just now. Or perhaps, he seemed to have gained something, being completely different from before. However, she just couldn't figure out what was different about him. Thus, she let out a chuckle and thought, young noble will be young noble, what kind of differences can there be? Feeling the strong wrists on her waist emanating warmth, Ling Chen snuck a peek at the people rushing around her and realized that none of them were paying attention to them. She then couldn't help but lean into the embrace of her beloved man. Ling Tian's expression was obviously much more relaxed than before. In that instant, he was finally separated from his previous life and he felt as though he had finally let down a heavy burden. It was as though his soul was unshackled, dancing around in his rain and singing out at the top of his voice. As the light drizzle landed, it felt like the gentle consolation of a mother, and also like the gentle embrace of a lover. In that instant, Ling Tian felt as though his whole soul and body were washed clean, making him feel extremely refreshed. At this moment, two white-dressed teens caught the attention of Ling Chen and Ling Tian, the first one was a tall man, only a few inches shorter than Ling Tian at the very most and could definitely be said to be extremely suave. Walking in the rain, he looked as though he was detached from the secular world, as though he was a tall and proud bamboo hanging by the side of the cliff. A unique charisma emanated from his body, as though he would still be a lonely existence even if he stood amongst thousands of people, the only one who everyone would focus on. By his side, while the other white-dressed man was also good-looking, his looks paled in comparison to the taller white-dressed man. Furthermore, a light makeup could be seen all over his face. With a single look, Ling Tian could tell that the both of them were a man and women pair as well. Furthermore, Ling Tian noticed that both of them were not stained by dirt at all despite walking in the rain. The both of them were obviously martial arts experts as well. Occasionally, a glimmer of light could be seen flashing past the lady's eyes, but the man's eyes were calm from start to end, without revealing a trace of his radiance. As Ling Chen and Ling Tian were studying them, they were also studying Ling Chen and Ling Tian. At the same time, both of their eyes revealed a trace of appreciation. However, the trace of appreciation was filled with a sense of pride, as though they were looking down from high above and it was an honor for Ling Chen and Ling Tian to be appreciated by the both of them. With his naturally graceful elegance and suave appearance, Ling Tian was naturally extremely eye-catching. Furthermore, Ling Chen was a country toppling beauty, looking as though she came out from a painting. Her white dress floated in the rain looking as though she was a fairy who had descended from the heavens and was strolling in the vast lunar palace. When the both of them walked together, they looked like a pair made in heaven and were obviously extraordinary individuals. How could Ling Chen and Ling Tian not catch the attention of others? What a magnificent young noble, what a beautiful lady! The white-dressed man looked towards Ling Chen and Ling Tian, letting out some words of praise. As his clear eyes looked towards Ling Chen and Ling Tian, they were filled with appreciation and shock. But when he looked towards Ling Chen, a weird flash could be seen, as though it was filled with envy but yet filled with something else. Ah, that's right. What a magnificent young noble, what a beautiful lady. Ling Tian replied with a smile, repeating the same words back to the both of them. When he said what a magnificent young noble, he looked at the white-dressed man. 
When he said what a beautiful lady, he looked at the lady dressed up as a man. Ling Tian's meaning was simple, he was telling the other party that he had already seen through the lady's disguise. The white-dressed young man seemed to be unbothered, letting out a loud laugh. Ling Tian could feel something wrong about the laugh, making him feel slightly uncomfortable. However, Ling Tian just couldn't explain what was wrong. The young man then walked forward, opening a fan with a shua. After flapping the fan gently, he said with a smile, The both of you have exceptional bearing and are definitely extraordinary individuals. I wonder if I can have your names? Ling Tian felt things becoming weirder by the minute. This white-dressed young man was obviously not from Sky Bearing and definitely recognized him. If not, why would this young man approach him for no good reason? Furthermore, this young man had a strange and unfathomable feeling. While this young man seemed elegant and gentlemanly, Ling Tian had a feeling that he was extremely pretentious. Besides, it didn't seem appropriate for him to be waving a fan in the rain. Chapter 232 Mysterious Girl Ling Tian scrutinized his face and found out that although his facial features were well proportioned, with flawless skin, he appeared somewhat deadpan, with a seemingly forced smile on his face. After a sweep and putting all the clues together, he also received a shock. Could this person also be in disguise? And he even went so far as to use a human skin mask? Only a human skin mask could produce such realistic effects, right? The method of making a human skin mask was also known to Ling Tian, but such methods involved directly slicing the skin off of another person, and Ling Tian had no intention of engaging in such cruel and inhumane behavior. Furthermore, their concealment methods here were quite primitive, usually seen through by himself at first glance, so there was no need to go to that extent. To think that he would meet someone today where he couldn't differentiate a disguise from the true self. This person is called Ling Tian, how I should address this young noble here. Ling Tian did not reveal any clues on his face as he spoke. Whatever scheme this person might have, just considering the fact that this person probably possessed a high cultivation level and had come to sky bearing, how could Ling Tian not be on guard? Ah. So it's the famed young noble Ling Tian. This person really has three lifetimes of karmic luck to be able to meet you. This person's name is a little vulgar, surnamed Qiang, Qiang Shuiwer. The young man laughed as he replied. Qiang Shuiwer? If you continue lurking in the water, I'll throw a bath bomb at you. One Ling Tian secretly cursed, but politely returned the gesture, so it's brother Qian. As they spoke. The cross-dressing female on Qiang Shui's side abruptly glanced at Ling Tian, and an odd expression of wariness and precaution appeared on her face. On the other hand, her expression towards Ling Chen was many times warmer. Ling Tian caught her expressions and couldn't help but think that it was strange. A planned meeting cannot be as joyful as a coincidental occurrence. To be able to meet under this poetic scenery tonight, this should be considered a joyous occasion. Might we be able to drink a cup in celebration? This Qiang Shui was an easygoing person, immediately gesturing towards the tavern a short distance from them, his tone seemingly not allowing any refusal. At the same time, the way he gestured spoke of his innate arrogance, as though he was looking down on the masses. Ling Tian's mind whirled as he considered the situation, immediately adapting as he smiled in response, to follow one's precepts is the sincerest form of respect, and to be able to meet such a hero like brother Qian is exactly what I, Ling Tian, have been looking for. He thought to himself, it seems like this Qian Shui is the successor of his generation for a martial family. Such flair and natural arrogance wasn't something that could be bred in a nouveau rich or a small aristocratic family. As the saying went, it takes three generations to wear, and five generations to eat. Such a personality couldn't be developed and cultivated unless one was born and bred in that environment. Ling Tian started to feel curious regarding his true identity. The four of them entered the tavern by the roadside, and under Ling Tian's observation, 
he found another quirk of Kiang Shui -er, that he loved to gaze at this sort of misty and rainy weather currently seen outside. The moment he walked into the bar, he sat at a window seat, directly facing the window. Ling Tian mused, these types of people are usually melancholic in nature, with a lot of sadness and sorrow. Could this be considered as his flaw? If we ever cross paths as enemies, this information could be put to good use. When it came to ordering dishes, the two men looked through the menu once, but Ling Tian left the final decision to Kiang Shui -er. After ordering a few light dishes, he ordered a jar of fragrant osmanthus wine. This caused Ling Tian to laugh to himself, looks like this was a case of a man sick of eating heavy delicacies. The rain floats in sheets from the blue sky, and the worries of the mortal world are weighty, pouring out a cup of plum blossom wine, one's heart melts with the rain to become none. Once he had drained his first cup, Kiang Shui glanced out of the window, a misty expression on his face as he lightly sighed and recited. Ling Tian gave a start, and after a short moment to ponder over the poem, he praised out loud, good poetry. Good literary talent. To think that brother Kian is actually a master of the pen and sword, to come out with such a poem on a whim, Ling Tian admires you. On the contrary, a look of disdain appeared in Ling Chen's eyes. Calling that poem good would be a little of a stretch, but compared to Ling Tian's two phrases just now, be it the antithesis or the deliberate phrasing of words, they were miles apart, almost like heaven and earth, and couldn't be spoken of in the same breath. Sweeping his glance around, Kiang Shui immediately noticed Ling Chen's look of disdain. Being a proud person, he couldn't help but let out a gentle smile while saying, I believe this lady here must be extremely talented in the literary arts, thus giving me a look of contempt. Ha ha, will you please advise me? Ling Chen glanced at Ling Tian, but upon not receiving any response, she continued, while young noble Kian is able to craft out such poems, when compared to my young nobles, yours are still lacking. However, I am lowly educated and have no authority to guide you, so I am unable to offer you detailed criticism. Kiang Shui -er's eyes lit up as he replied, then I'm all ears. However, in his tone was a slight hint of not being convinced. One had to know that he was reminiscing about past memories, and just randomly sprouted out something. While it was not akin to a sculpture done by a master, he was already quite pleased by it. However, it seemed that based on Ling Chen's tone that Ling Tian was even a notch higher than him. How could he be happy about this? Ling Chen glanced at Ling Tian with an adoring look, before slightly opening her mouth to recite in an unrestrained manner, the free-floating petals are light like a dream, the endless drizzle is thin like worries. This was the work by my house's young noble. May young noble Kian please dissect it. Kiang Shui relowered his head and murmured the two phrases of the poem repeatedly. The more he did so, the more he felt that this poem was too wonderful for words, giving him a light and airy feeling as though he had rid himself of the mortal dust. Compared with his own poem, the two couldn't even be mentioned in the same breath. He couldn't help but sweat when he thought that he had been trying to impress them with his meager literary talent just now. He couldn't help but be ashamed and forced out a laugh, indeed, there's always a heaven beyond the heavens, and a person beyond all people. Young Noble Ling's poem is enigmatic, and this brother here cannot compare. Just when Kiang Shui relowered his head, Ling Tian spotted something. Kiang Shui Ru's hands were tanned, yet his face was rather pale. However, when he had lowered his head, the skin around his nape was sparkling like jade a pure white like snow. Looking at his hair, Ling Tian could observe that every strand was a glossy black, and now that they were nearer to each other, he indistinctly smelled a refreshing fragrance emanating from him, much like orchid musk. Ling Tian paused in shock, finally understanding the situation. This person was a female. While Ling Chen was beside him, the fragrance she emitted was that of a lily, a totally different scent and the cross-dressing female was seated opposite him on the table, thus being too far for Ling Tian to properly interact with her, which meant that the scent did not originate from her. Having processed his thoughts, 
he realized that Kiang Shui Ri should also be a noble lady in disguise. Then the two of them should be master and servant. No wonder Kiang Shui Ri would pretentiously take out a fan and hold it in front of herself, probably to prevent her bosom from exposing herself. As for the cross-dressing female giving him weird looks, that was because she was wary that he would make a move on her house's lady. The corners of Ling Tian's mouth corked up into a smile, as he said, Brother Kiang is too polite, your poetry just now was also quite the masterpiece, it's just that this little lass doesn't know how to appreciate it and rebutted you. I should be the one asking you to forgive me. Kiang Shui laughed in embarrassment as he replied, displaying my slight skill before an expert, making a fool out of myself. This brother here now knows the meaning behind those words. I'm truly ashamed, and this lady here was merely quick with her tongue and wit, so how would I dare to take offense? Ling Tian also laughed in response. May I inquire as to where brother Kian is from? I don't think you're from Sky Bearing, right? For someone of your stature, even if my ears were not well informed, I think that I would have heard of you. A light flashed past Kiang Shui Ri's eyes, and he merely calmly replied, This brother here is a nobody, so how would I enter young noble Ling's eyes? He immediately diverted the question without leaving any clues. Ling Tian was also stunned speechless. He thought that this person was the renowned talent from the Ximin house, but since this person was a lady it ruled out that possibility. If they were not from the Ximin house, then this Kiang Shui Ri would definitely not be someone currently residing within Sky Bearing, or else with the chances of them coming into contact she would have definitely revealed her name. Which aristocratic family did this person originate from? He suddenly felt as though the chaos hovering over Sky Bearing just got a few inches thicker and unknowingly his brows furrowed. The time taken for the meal quickly passed, and as though seeing through Ling Tian's intentions, Kiang Shui Ri became more cautious, even with Ling Tian's repeated probings, he was not able to get anything important out. Close to the end of their joyous meal, while Ling Tian still appeared unruffled, Kiang Shui Ri could feel that her mental state was close to breaking. Every question from Ling Tian had a hidden edge within, and if she were to be blindly led by him she would definitely fall into a trap. As such, Every sentence spoken had to be repeated a few times to herself before she dared to speak. Such a meal, in her opinion, was worse than fighting with a few experts at once. Seeing that the meal was coming to an end, Ling Tian took the initiative to bid farewell. Kiang Shui Ri also sighed in relief and got up to send Ling Tian off. As they parted, Ling Tian suddenly smiled while saying, the mountains are high and the rivers long, I will definitely meet up with brother Kian once again. Please take care of yourself. With a happy laugh, he turned and walked away.